Welcome to r slash am I the butthole where OP exposes a racist. Am I the butthole for helping my friend get a girl removed from the soccer team? I'm a 16 year old girl and I have a friend named Aisha who's 15. Aisha is Muslim and wears a hijab to school which often causes people to give her dirty looks, comments, etc. I don't know why, it's just a cloth. Anyway, the worst example of this came from a girl named Megan who was also 15. When we were sitting together at lunch, she came up to Aisha and I and told Aisha she dared her to take her hijab off, taunting her, saying that she would look pretty without it. Then, Megan forcibly tried to remove Aisha's hijab. I pushed Megan away and we went to the principal. Instead of getting a punishment, Megan made up a sob story about how it would harm her position on some prestigious soccer club she was in. Fast forward to a few days ago, and she made a TikTok that said, When you get called to the principal's office for telling the Muslim girl to take off her do-rag. I was so livid for her. Aisha is very shy and didn't want to seem like a buzzkill. So she asked me personally to email the soccer organization. Well, I did, and she was immediately kicked off and other organizations in the area were notified of her behavior. Now, all of her friends are in my DMs saying how horrible I am, how I'm an R-word, how I need to take a joke, etc. My parents think I should have stayed out of it, but I think I did the right thing. OP, you didn't get her kicked off the soccer team. Her racist TikTok got her kicked off the soccer team. Also, where's the joke? Calling a hijab a do-rag isn't a joke, it's just mean. Am I the butthole for canceling my stepson's birthday because he facepalmed me? I married my husband two years ago, and my relationship with my 12-year-old stepson has never been good. We tried everything, but nothing seems to work. His behavior towards me is so terrible. He shouts at me, swears at me, and calls me the worst mother ever. His 13th birthday party is tomorrow, and since my 7-year-old daughter's birthday is only 10 days apart, we usually celebrate them both on the same day. They're fine with it. I asked my stepson who he invited and that's when he does a facepalm gesture and tells me that he already answered this question before in the worst tone ever. This is where I lost it and told him that because of his attitude I'm going to cancel his birthday tomorrow. At first he didn't believe me since it's not the first time I threatened to punish him without actually doing it in the end. But this time I was serious. And to prove it to him I called his grandparents and told him his birthday got cancelled. He started crying, begging me not to cancel, but I told him it's too late. I got berated by his grandparents because of this and they told me that I don't have the right to cancel his birthday. As his mother, I'm pretty sure I can do what I want though, but they weren't listening to me. They even told me that tomorrow they're coming to his birthday with the gifts even after I told them not to bother because I won't open the door. Am I the butthole here? I'm going to read this top comment from Anub. I'm being a jerk to a child. Am I the butthole? Yes, you're the butthole. And another comment from Pink Purple Blue Pride. You're the butthole. Lady, what the actual F? Birthdays are never something you should cancel unless the kid majorly screwed up. It's such a sucky thing to do. You only get so many birthdays as kids and those memories and experiences are so, so, so priceless that the fact that you're punishing him like this for something so petty is making me see red. I also noticed how you never actually said why your relationship is strained and only talked about how he was rude. You're obviously leaving a whole lot of justification on his end out of this. You need to pray to God to give you some empathy and some sense, and then you need to uncancel his birthday and make it up to him tenfold. Over an effing facepalm? Absolutely ridiculous. I wish your steps on the best. And to make this even better, people in this thread gave OP the facepalm award, and OP made the edit. Facepalm award? Really? Am I the butthole for telling my son that he is the reason me and his mother are getting divorced? I know upon reading the title alone, many of you will just call me a butthole and you might be right, but I want to explain myself first. My wife and I have been together since we first met in high school. We were able to maintain a long distance relationship throughout college and stay true to each other. I truly thought we were inseparable. She gave birth to a boy 12 years ago and since then things changed drastically. 
My son, unfortunately, has behavioral problems, and it's been very difficult raising him. He throws temper tantrums, gets in trouble in school frequently, and refuses to listen to my wife and I. As a result, my wife and I started having disagreements about how we should handle him. That is, whether we should punish him more or let him get his anger out, etc. This created a wedge between us that kept getting wider. We both resorted to drinking more and wanting to be away from each other as much as possible to get some relief. We started having more arguments and eventually it became so obvious that our marriage was deteriorating that family members started questioning it. So the topic of divorce came up and we both decided to go through with it. When I first told my son about it, he cried endlessly, then started throwing fits about how unfair it was. I completely understand that a divorce is hard on a child, but the intensity of his fits kept growing. Since my wife and I are separated, not yet divorced, and because she can't tolerate our son that much, we agreed that he gets to spend much of his week with me, unfortunately. So I see him a lot, and I have to put up with his yelling far more than she does. Last Friday, he started asking if my wife and I forgave each other, and I told him that the divorce is happening like it or not. He starts crying, and I got mad and told him, Buddy, wanna know why we're getting divorced? Because of you. We were happy before you were born, but you always act badly and get in trouble. So stop arguing with me when you caused it. You have nothing but yourself to blame. This devastated him, and I did apologize, but I told him there was some truth to what I said. However, since then, he's been more quiet and behaved, and even my wife, who was with him over the weekend, said he was so much better. So, yeah, I think that I'm the butthole for telling him he was the reason we're getting divorced, but in some ways, I don't think I am, because maybe it was just something he needed to hear. Down in the comments, I'm going to read this post from time for time. You're the butthole, times a thousand. Yeah, the title's bad, but the content of your post isn't better. You're such a butthole, I can't believe it. You getting divorced isn't his fault, it's not. He's your child. Children throw tantrums. They can also get in trouble at school and can disagree with their parents. Parenting him is your job, and if you and your wife can't handle it, that's on you. You wrote, because she can't tolerate our son that much, we agreed that he gets to spend most of the weekend with me, unfortunately. Oh, F off with that. That's your child. Your child who's going through a major change in his life, and you say it's unfortunate that he's spending most of his time with you? You're the butthole for telling him the divorce is his fault. You're the butthole for telling him you and your wife were happy before he was born. You're the butthole for failing him as a parent and being a sucky person. You're the butthole for being glad he's calmer now after you destroyed him with your words. I feel so sorry for that kid. He has two horrible parents. I hope he has some other positive support in his life. Am I the butthole for ruining game night by telling the truth? A few nights ago, I hosted a game night for a small group of friends. We had all been quarantining and following the proper guidelines in my country. It was only going to be five of us, including me, but one of my friends texted me last minute that she was going to bring one of her co-workers, Matt. Fine with me. We started playing a card game where you answer questions about yourself. Based on the level of the card, the question could be extremely surface level, for example, what's your favorite color? Or something deeper, for example, what characteristic of yourself do you not like about yourself? Everyone was enjoying themselves, and I was happy with the way things were going. Cue a question I drew, what's the hardest thing you've ever had to go through? Some backstory, my sister passed away a few years ago when I was still in high school. I was pulled out of class and flew immediately to her college and watched her die in the intensive care unit. Needless to say, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever been through. Three of my friends in the group knew about this, the other two and Matt didn't. I didn't want to bring the mood down, so I answered that the hardest thing I'd been through was transitioning going to a college in a different state where I knew no one. We were all ready to move on, but Matt immediately piped up and said, Wow, if that's the hardest thing you've ever been through, you lived an extremely privileged life. Everyone got quiet. Now, if he had said it jokingly, I probably would have let it go and moved on. However, the way he said it was in a very condescending and patronizing tone. And I'll admit, it rubbed me the wrong way. Instead of letting it go, I said, Well, the hardest thing I've ever been through is seeing my sister die in the intensive care unit and having to watch her being lowered into her grave when I was just 17. I just didn't want to bring the mood down. 
If they, <laughs> if things were quiet before, they were dead silent now. Matt mumbled an apology, but game night ended shortly after. After my friends all left, my friend who had brought Matt texted me and told me I was a jerk for making Matt look bad, and I could have just let his statement go. I do feel bad about what I said and being the cause of game night ending so soon, but I also feel like I was just making a justified statement. Am I the butthole? So OP, to be honest, yeah, you were kind of putting Matt on the spot, and he was a guest in your home, so I can't let you completely off the hook even though Matt totally deserved it. So I think I'd give you maybe 1 out of 5 buttholes for that comment. But also, Matt was being pretty rude and not respecting his host at all. Like, what was the point of that completely unnecessary jab at you? So I'm gonna give him 2 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for being brutally honest about my financial stability? So I'm 26 years old, I have no student debt, and I own a condo outright. My coworkers in the office are very anti-young people and constantly rag on those millennials and their financial irresponsibility. I'm one of four people under 30 in the office and my coworkers are usually shocked by my age. They know I have no college debt because I mentioned it once and I mentioned in passing that I had bought a condo. On the last happy hour Zoom meeting, they started in on their talk. I tried to gently defend my generation only to have them say that I shouldn't because unlike my peers, I'm actually responsible and I prove what a millennial actually could do if they tried. Here's the thing, my aunt died when I was 8 and she basically left enough money and time for my parents to invest for a college fund. I have my condo because my grandmother died this year, I was on the lease and I had enough to pay off the 20k left on the mortgage. So, to be blunt, my success is people dying at a convenient time. I was sick of them, so I told them that my advantages were literally inheritance and that I'm not better than my cohort, just luckier. They were all shocked that I would be so cavalier and blunt, and now people are irritated. Am I the butthole? Nah, OP, I'd give you 0 out of 5 buttholes, but next time hit him with an OK boomer. And if that doesn't work, then escalate to HR. I don't know where you live, but in America at least, that type of conversation is not appropriate at all. Your coworkers can't discriminate against a protected class, and age is a protected class, even young people. So if you tell HR that your coworkers are constantly ragging on your generation and creating a toxic work environment, then they'll shut that down pretty quickly. And if they don't shut it down, then you'll be perfectly positioned for a lawsuit. So win-win. Am I the butthole for refusing to make my son pay for the bras he damaged in full because I think they're too expensive? My 25-year-old stepdaughter is staying with my wife and I temporarily. My 15-year-old son stays with us every other week. He has online classes while the rest of us have to go to work, so he's alone at home for a good while. Last week, he decided to make a video and use my stepdaughter's bras as props. He dyed them, cut them, and used them as slingshots. She was extremely upset and said that they were practically unusable afterwards. Apparently, she also uses high-end bras that cost 85 bucks a piece. I can't wrap my head around that price tag. I know my wife doesn't spend more than 50 bucks on a bra. However, he destroyed 5 bras so that's about 450 bucks. I don't think that's a reasonable price to pay for just 5 bras. My son had 200 bucks saved up and offered that, but she was still upset. My wife sided with her. I don't think making a 15 year old who clearly can't afford 450 bucks to pay for the whole thing is fair either. She can buy 5 cheaper bras for 200 bucks. Cool, cool, OP. So I guess you wouldn't mind if your stepdaughter destroyed a bunch of your stuff and then only offered you half the price. You'd be totally cool with that, right? No, of course you wouldn't because it's completely unfair. You get 2 out of 5 buttholes. If it were me, I would have paid her the 450 out of my own pocket and then make my son pay off the remaining money to me. Your stepdaughter deserves her $450 and your son deserves a lesson in responsibility and respect. That was r slash am I the butthole and if you like this content then check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also hit that subscribe button because I put out new reddit videos every single day.